there's been so much about high fructose corn syrup that they finally changed it to corn sugar. Has the omega-6, are they changing their names or doing anything that would make it harder for us to see what's in there using different terminology or just look for trans fats? No, no, actually they, they've done a much better job. Uh, they bought off the American Heart Association. Uh, the, uh, uh, last year the American Heart Association accused me of being the leader of the Gang of Four uh, saying that, uh, that so, no, omega-6 fatty acids are good for you. And uh, I said, I don't think so. Uh, and so they, they had a big editorial that said, do not listen to the man. He does not speak the truth. Uh, so uh, that's one way of, of doing it. That's a much more effective way. Now, how do you know something has omega-6 fatty acids in it? Now, don't look for trans fatty acids. Look for the magic word called polyunsaturated fats. And where do you find polyunsaturated fats? When you go down the aisles of the supermarket. If it wasn't for cheap vegetable oils rich in polyunsaturated fats, i.e. omega-6 fats, there'd be no processed foods in America because fat makes carbohydrates taste better. And so anytime you see a label that says polyunsaturated fats on there, it's chock full of omega-6 fatty acids. You can run, but you can't hide. Well, my shopping has increased considerably having to read all the ingredients, which goes in it, but it's worth it to... Well, it really yeah. is. And again, good rule of thumb, just stay on the periphery of the supermarket and don't go down the aisles. One, it'll be cheaper, you'll get to spend less time in the store, and uh, you'll be much healthier in the process. You know, remember, you know, 80 years ago, there was no drug industry. 80 years ago, there was no big food industry. After World War II, we abdicated our responsibilities of taking care of ourselves to drug companies and eating for the food companies. And we're paying the price.